Hi, I'm Kitty Stallings. Portion control is an all-important key factor in losing or maintaining weight. That's why I created Portion Perfect Glassware and Dinnerware. And today I'm going to show you how to make your very own Portion Perfect plate. First, you go to a dollar store or a discount store and buy yourself a plate that is oven and microwave safe. You'll see that on the back. And I have several here. Uh, because it's easier to demonstrate how to do this on a white plate, I'm going to actually draw my design on my white plate. Then you go to a craft store and buy yourself some porcelain paint. This is paint that is used on uh, glasses and dishes and we're going to bake it in so it's going to stay. This is the design I created for my Portion Perfect plate. I'm going to recreate this design on my newer, smaller plate. And it doesn't matter that it's smaller, and you'll find out why soon. I have two circular designs for my vegetables and my pasta, and I have a rectangle design here for my meat and my fish. So now, let's recreate this on our smaller plate. We're going to begin with our circle, and I kind of make a jagged line as I make my circle. The circle needs to be, uh, I guess, about an inch to an inch and a half in diameter. But it isn't going to matter because we measure food within a design. And I know that sounds confusing right now, but when I actually put some food in here, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And now we're going to make our little rectangle. You can use any colors that you like. I chose gold, black, and silver, but you can use any, any combination of any color that you like on any color plate. And we take our porcelain paint and take our second line right outside of our first line. And the reason I zigzag it like that is in the first place, nobody can draw a straight line. <laughs> And in the second place, I just think it looks nicer. This is how I do it. You might come up with your own creative plate that looks, you know, completely different, but it works the same. I am going to show you how to use it. And now I'll take my silver paint and go about a half inch outside of this line, outside of my latest line. kind of fill in the area within my designs. These are where I'm going to put my food, but you know, that looks kind of weird. So <laughs> just to make it a nicer design, I go ahead and fill in, fill in the blanks, so to speak. So we finished our design. So now we're ready to bake it. Now my porcelain paint tells me that I need to let this sit for 24 hours and cure. Then I'm going to bake it in an oven at 300 degrees for 35 minutes. So I've already made this one. This one has been baked. But when you bake porcelain paint, it has a tendency to bubble up. And so we need to scrub this first, and we're gonna scrub it in our sink and get the little bubbles off, because you don't wanna eat that. We're going to scrub with our little scotch uh, scrubber that has an abrasive side, so that when we scrub it, all the little bubbles come off. Can you see all those bubbles coming off? works is this. You take your portion size. In this case, I'm taking one half cup of corn off the cob, whole kernel corn, and I'm putting it in my one half cup measuring cup. Now I'm going to serve it to myself on my portion perfect plate in my round design that I have for my vegetables and my pasta and things like that. 
And as you can see, it has fallen within my silver design. If you look at the round design, there's a black, there's a gold, there's a silver. It could have come out to the edges of any one of those, but it came out to silver. So I know every time I serve corn on this plate that I can give myself approximately one half cup every time. So you're probably thinking to yourself, gee whiz, that was easy. She could make it fit anything. She had a half cup measuring cup. So what do you do if you don't want to measure your food anymore, which is the whole purpose of the plate? Okay, now let's see if I can serve myself one half cup of corn within my design. Remember, it could have fallen within any of these. It fell out to my silver design. So let me give myself one half cup of whole kernel corn. That looks like about one half cup right there. So let's see how close I came. No trick photography here. I'm going to put it right into my cup. Whoops. Got a little escape corn going here. And just to really be precise, I'm going to put every single kernel so that you see them exactly in my cup. How much closer can you get than that? And this plate works with anything. Peas, pasta, you name it. Anything that you measure. When you measure it, you put it on your plate, you mentally make a, uh, a cue for yourself about which design the particular item fell within. And the next time you go to a restaurant and you don't have your plate with you, you've got a visual, mental a memory of, of how much you ate, what your portion size is, so that you, you know, you'll know exactly what you're eating, which is wonderful. Knowledge is power. It's power over food. So now it's time for you to go out and create your own portion perfect plate. Portion perfect, an easy reminder of portion control. I'm Kitty Stallings, thanks.